Okay, in this video, we're going to determine continuity from a function. Uh, before we actually do the example, I want to go over this theorem one more time. Uh, the following functions are continuous on their domain. So anytime you have a polynomial, rational, root function, or a trig function, they will be continuous where they're defined. Um, so let's take a look at our uh, example now. So here's our piecewise defined function. We have the cosine of 2x when x is less than negative pi over 2. We have sine of x right here uh, between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. And then the line x plus pi over 2 when x is greater than or equal to pi over 2. Um, so let's take a look at a number line. And let me plot the important points here anywhere. An important point would be any place where we jump from one function to another. So we have one at negative pi over 2. And we'll have another one at positive pi over 2. Now in this region, this is where I have cosine of 2x. In this region, this is where I have sine of x. And this one I have x plus pi over 2. Now that's a polynomial. So that means this is continuous from the negative pi over 2 to infinity. Sine of x is continuous on its domain. And that domain right now is negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So it's continuous on this region. And finally, cosine of 2x is continuous on its domain. And its domain is from negative infinity. Again, I'm getting them from up here. Uh, negative infinity to negative pi over 2. So these are all places where we're continuous right here. Um, notice the only places I don't know if I'm continuous are at the places where I jump from one function to another, which would be here. Are we continuous at negative pi over 2? And are we continuous at pi over 2? So these are the two questions I have to answer now. So let's go through the requirements of continuity and see what happens at these two x values. So let's take a look at our first requirement for continuity which is, does f of negative pi over 2 even exist? All right, so let's go up here. We have x is less than negative pi over 2, so I don't actually get to equal pi over, negative pi over 2. So we're not defined here for at pi, negative pi over 2. So what about over here? Uh, we are also not defined at negative pi over 2, because if, if it had this equal sign, then I would be able to equal negative pi over 2. Unfortunately, I don't have it, which means I'm not defined at negative pi over 2. I violated the first condition of continuity. So I can conclude right now that f of x is not continuous at negative pi over 2. All right, so let's go ahead and work on the other x value, positive pi over 2. Let's start with condition one. Does f of positive pi over two exist? So come over here. Where does x equal pi over two? It, it gets to equal pi over two here, right? We have the equal sign. So I do get to equal pi over two. And so I'm using this function to evaluate it. So uh, it's gonna be pi over two. plus, and then another pi over 2. And so that's just going to equal pi. So I do have a y value. f of pi over 2 does exist. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Does the limit as x approach pi over 2 exist? Now, because it's a piecewise function, I have to look at both the left and right-hand limits. So let's take a look at the left. That's the limit as x approaches sorry, positive pi over 2. Um, and now I need to know which function I'm using. So where am I to the left of pi over 2? And that would be in here, right? Slightly to the left of pi over 2. So I'm using this function. And now I'm just going to plug in pi over 2. And sine of pi over 2 is 1. 
All right, now let's take a look at the right-hand limit. That would be the limit as x approaches pi over 2 from the right. And if you come up here, slightly to the right of pi over 2 would be in this region. So I'm using this function for the right-hand limit. And when I plug in pi over 2, you get pi over 2 over pi over 2, and that's pi. So does the left and right hand limits exist? Do these two equal each other? And no, one doesn't equal pi. So does the general limit exist? No. You violated condition two. And at the moment you violate one of the conditions of continuity, you can then state you're not continuous. So not continuous at x equals pi over two. So then how do I write my final answer? Well, remember from um, at the beginning of the video, we, got, we stated that we are continuous on, and we said negative infinity to negative pi over 2, because that's when cosine of 2x is defined. Uh, we were continuous from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, because sine of x was continuous in this region. And finally, we are continuous from pi over 2 to, to infinity. And all of the work we did over here was to determine whether we are continuous at these points. Like, would I be able to get a bracket instead of a parentheses? We found out that we do not. Right? So this is actually our final answer. Or you can say we're continuous everywhere except... Right, this is kind of another way of saying it, more of an informal way. Uh, continuous everywhere except x equals negative pi over 2 and pi over 2.